going on. Hey, be very careful. Good morning. Get off. You don't have to cry. Can you ask politely? Yes. Oh my goodness. This is such a beautiful bouquet. Oh, this whole room smells like flowers. I'm so excited to be working with you together. You will create magic. I'll see you in LA next week. Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. So I have an amazing opportunity and you guys won't see it till maybe next year. It's still in the very early stages, so I can't say anything yet, but I will let you know I am working on a project. Um, with a makeup brand and I, I think that's all I could say right now. I'm so excited. It's been a while. The last project I did was with BH Cosmetics and it's still one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. In fact, I'm wearing it right now. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm about to make, I think this is a chicken meatloaf. Mm. You know, when I was younger, I actually hated meatloaf, but I tried it at my cousin's house. I think she made a turkey one and it was really good. All right, I just shared this video on my page. The video is kind of crazy because it's about Google filtering what they're showing to the world. It has to do with Hillary Clinton. Now, whether it's true or not, it's still crazy because basically what it's saying is that there's still people that can control what is being put out there regardless of you thinking that Google or any search engine could be organic. Now specifically they're, you know, like um, targeting Google and something about Hillary Clinton. But uh, go check it out. It's actually a video worth watching, especially with the uh, presidential race happening right now. And you know, so many people use the internet specifically like Google.com to be able to like research things. If people are filtering at like the top level what you actually see when you're trying to search something, that's a problem. So um, just put it out there. I usually don't rant about stuff like this, but like it's important to me because the presidential race right now is literally crazy. It's like I don't think there's ever been a time in the last 30 years that can compare to what is going on right now with Hillary and Trump. So uh, anyways, I put that on there so you guys should check it out. But man, you know, like especially what I do on video influencers, we're always trying to teach people about how to get found, how to reach an audience to be able to you know, build your passion on YouTube. And it's always great to be reminded that there's powers way up here that could be pulling the strings. You never know it. So thank you, SourceFed, for that video. The girls should be coming home, I don't know, maybe within the next half hour. And Mel took them to the park. And the weather is starting to turn. It was really sunny this morning, but we're gonna have, I think we're having rain and thunder and lightning. So you can see, this is crazy. Bright blue skies, white clouds, and then dun dun dun, black clouds. Oh, yeah, and good news. What's the good news? We got a house. Got a house. Yeah, I booked the house. Good news. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Only bad news, you need your own towels. We need to bring our own towels? Yeah, for safety reasons, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have to buy towels? That's weird. Oh my gosh, I remember this jam. I did like the whole butterfly thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Last I heard, he became a pastor, I think. Had to turn off the music because of copyright. Back in the day when uh -huh. I first started YouTube, yeah. I would use all the music. Uh -huh. And then when YouTube started getting popular, they muted all my videos. Yeah. I was so sad. Anyways, honey, whatever you're cooking smells hella, hella good. Delicious. Yeah, oh, you want to try this one? Close your eyes. Okay, it's not very hot. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That, I mean, it tastes like mashed potatoes to me. Yeah, it is mashed potatoes. I only ate a banana and a half, coffee, green tea, lots of water. Did you go poop? Basically an empty stomach compared to what I normally have when I do my workouts at the gym. So I'm going to lifting weights today, deadlifts, 
some upper body stuff. So I am gonna be starving. All right, gotta turn on the music for Judy. What's on? So the girls weren't entirely loving the food. Get up. Anyway, I really enjoyed it. Uh, Benji's working out right now, so he's not gonna get some till later. Yeah, 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 but we're gonna go over to Mama and Papa's house. It's Dad's birthday, so we're gonna go say happy birthday and give them some of this meatloaf. Hopefully they like it. We just had a great workout. There was these middle school kids, probably like 12 or 13 years old, just acting like they always work out and they're taught saying, hey, go heavier, go heavier to each other. Kids in the gym at that age, they just sit on. Come on, you were that kid. Oh wait, no, actually you weren't that kid. No. Kids are kids, like well, yeah. literally 12 Honey, year olds. I didn't mind at all. It was just funny, it, I was the only one in the weight room except for these five middle school kids. They were pressuring each other to lift more weight. And I could tell there was this one kid that could not lift a lot, but like Aww. his friends are pressuring him. And I remember being that age and I could relate to him. And maybe like 10 years ago, especially when I worked at the YMCA yeah. with kids, I would have said something, but I was like, you know, that kid just has to learn for himself. Peer pressure, sometimes no. you just have to learn. Okay, how that's one thing I wish I would have told my 11, because 11, and 12 years old was when I was peer pressured the most and I wanted to fit in and I wanted to wear, mm -hmm. you know what was in when I was in sixth Fubu. grade? Fubu and the boater hats. Like, you know those boater hats? It's like, I begged my parents to buy me one mm -hmm. and it's just, I wish I would have told myself, who cares? Mm -hmm. Who cares? You don't have to try to fit in. One I thing I'm gonna do so with our girls, I'm gonna build so much confidence in them. I'm gonna praise them so much, almost to a fault but I am gonna make sure that they have self-esteem like no other kid. So if they wanted to do something that no one else did, or they wanted to go against the grain, go against the crowd, they would feel comfortable doing it. At the end of the day, what's most important, you have integrity, you're comfortable in your own skin no matter what that is, and you live by your own terms and God's terms. It's for real. It's for real. And they don't need no man in their life until they're like 18 or 19. To my daughters, Mia, Kira, Juliana, remember, I'm the only man in your life until you're 18. Girls, especially young girls and young teenagers, when you're in a group of friends and you feel like you're pressured or like you have to do something in order to be accepted in that group, those are not your real friends. They're not, like, it doesn't, who cares about popularity? Oh my goodness. When you get out of junior high and high school, none of that matters in the real world. None of that is going to make you happy in the real world. So just stay true to yourself, be honest, and yeah. So what flavor should we get? Peach? You don't want the big straw? Yeah, because, oh yeah, it's big, because I think it's just a green corn, or a green van. We're gonna go in the van. No, we're gonna ride the van. Hi, Hi sisters! Yeah. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Wow, three crawling or hopping babies. We are going out to get bubble tea at our friend's bubble tea shop and they have food over there, so we're just gonna have our dinner there too. It was such a peaceful ride. So peaceful. What are these girls looking at right now? Central Market. This is like our zoo. Oh my gosh, he's gonna climb over. Ooh, yeah, those are the lobsters. Huh? It's not scary. 
I wouldn't be surprised if a crab actually fell out. Cause like they're climbing pretty high. No, no, I'm not scared. Okay, somehow Mia got ketchup on her back. It must have been from Kira. Okay, let's go look over there. Come on, JB. Oh geez, cotton candy. <laughs> Holy moly, these guys are huge. They're like as big as my hand. Yeah, that's ice. Mommy, mommy, come on, see a crab. Look at these, mommy. Whoa. I am craving some sushi right now. Hold on, hold on, let's look at which one it is. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's like a fake fire. <laughs> That's marshmallows. Marshmallows and who got the bath? Yeah. <laughs> Dinner at a central market. Uh, chicken noodle soup with some California rolls. We have spicy rolls. I don't know, something dragon. And then we also have tomato soup. This is the cutest thing ever. I don't know if they've ever experienced this, but I know I haven't. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, if you're gonna push a car, girls, come here. You have to be like big girls, okay? Be very, very what? But you also have to be very careful, okay? With your carts. I can't run into food, okay? To listen to daddy. Oh, we need my baby now. Um, no, let's go over that way. Come on. Oh my god, that is so cute. I know, I'm, I'm watching. What? This way. Those are spicy behind you. Come on, I know they are. They are spicy, huh? Hey, hey! What did I say? You have to be very careful. Say careful. Careful. Okay. What the dog holds so yummy. He doesn't like candy yet. We don't want to. No, I don't. Let's just look at hey, it. Hey, be very careful. You need to try this one. Oh, I never really? tried this one. You never tried that one, huh? One's okay, yummy. that's nice to know. Oh, wait. We gotta get mommy's kimchi. Hey, hey, you're getting so distracted. Hey, focus, focus. Hey, Mia. Okay, no cart then. Give me your cart. Come on then. We gotta get mommy's kimchi. Come on. Here you go. Put one in your cart. You can get one too. Hey, be gentle. Here. Be gentle. Good girl. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hey, that's thumbs down. Hey, Mia. Thumbs up. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Mommy, I got chips. Okay, all right. Daddy, Mia, Kira, this is for Mia. Hey. Come on, see Mark, okay? Come on, put it up here. Last one, Kira. There is no I and T here. Good Guys. I love candy candy. Oh my shoes. Oh dang it. 